I've lost over 14 million naira since I started business and I want to share you my 10 biggest reasons why I feel people lose money on the internet. Reason one is lack of financial education, of course, ignorance. Most people who lose money don't really understand what they are investing their money into. And that's the reason why they wake up one particular day and somebody will post and say, okay, they should tap, they get their phone, they start tapping, tapping, okay, you know, invest 2K to bring 30K, invest $5 to, to get $10, and that's how they lose a lot of their money. The number one reason why people lose their money is ignorance. I, I have lost my money that way as well. When I started crypto, I had no idea. I thought it was something that once I put my money, just goes up and stuff, but I was in debt of over like $12,000 from crypto alone. All the money I made in my first year of affiliate marketing and doing marketing in general, I invested everything in crypto and I literally lost a lot of money due to ignorance of not knowing what crypto is. So that's what even made me to go ahead and learn crypto and say, man, I must understand this business model 100%. Now, the second reason why people lose money is because they are always chasing get rich quick schemes. And that's exactly how most crypto people tend to brand their business. They tend to brand it as something that can give you generational wealth overnight. Yes, of course, it happens. But before you get that generational wealth, the little you have would have already gone by a large mile. The guys who, have, who get generational wealth or who have been able to create a repeated process to make money from crypto are the guys who make a lot of money. They don't really see it as a get rich quick schemes. They are very, very patient. In as much as they will tell you that, okay, if you invest, let's say, hundred dollars, you could you could make a million, you know, in a couple of days. Those crypto guys are ready to wait. If it goes down for two years, they are there. They still believe in the project. They still talk about it. They still tweet about it. And that's the difference between you and them. They know that they can get rich very, very quick, but they take a very patient approach. They are quick to take action, but they are patient with results. So that's the difference between a lot of people who just jump onto on crypto and get burned at the end of the day now the third reason why a lot of people lose a lot of money is because they make decisions due to their emotions if you find yourself always making decisions due to your emotions you'll notice that you're the kind of person that you you panic buy you panic buy you do a lot of window shopping you have this habit where if you see something and you get very excited you just you spend your money all those kind of decisions are decisions that can literally cripple you financially there are two times you should not make any purchasing decision it should be when you're very happy you should never make any purchasing decision or when you're very sad you need to make sure that you are you are in the okay state of mind whenever you want to make a purchasing decision because that way you can think logically and not think emotionally you can know that okay if i put this money here or if i buy this particular thing what is possibly the return? How is this thing making my life better? As opposed to when you're extremely excited and you're just buying it because you think you'll just be happy when you get it. Most times you know very well that when you get that particular thing, you're not usually as happy as you thought you would. You buy it, you buy an iPhone, you're so happy you bought the iPhone. You get home and the iPhone is just an iPhone now. Like there's nothing special about the iPhone. So you need to think about it that if you keep on making decisions from an emotional standpoint, it's always going to affect you. You're always going to be spending so much money. The, the number four way to lose money is when you don't understand risks. Most people don't understand risks. They think that once you put in money here, they're gonna get 400 percent they risk they risk another money they'll get no no you don't have to do that right before you take any decision you have to understand okay what is the risk i'm going to have what is the amount of money i'm willing to lose in this particular purchase is this purchase something that is going to serve me for the next 20 years is something that's going to serve me for the next 10 years am i going to have no return for a few years then have like an exponential return later you need to think about all these things when you are thinking about handling your money it is too important now number five is that most people lose money when they always follow trends there's a new iphone iphone 16 now see i currently use an iphone 14 pro max and a 15 model is out a 16 model is out now and i'm not even looking to change it the only reason why i might change this particular phone is probably maybe because the storage is like 500 gig and i use it to shoot content and probably maybe it's full now no other reason it's literally the same phone every single year but just with little added abilities and all that and it, it, it doesn't really affect your life in any significant manner so you're even okay starting out with an iphone 12 or iphone 10 you know iphone x rather and you'll be okay so following trends is one sure way for you to lose money man these iphones are not so cheap especially for somebody who is just trying to get on his feet or some of you who are just trying to make a lot of money the money you spend buying that iphone right some people even go ahead and use it as an excuse to say, okay, but for content, there are people who shoot very bad, terrible videos. When I see my YouTube, my YouTube channel and my TikTok channel or whatever, I have like over 
120,000 followers on TikTok and majority of the videos I shot there was from my phone, front camera. So you don't need any superb gear in order for people to see you as worth following. What matters is what you are speaking to them. So I don't want to spend too much time here. So number six is that some people just totally lack patience and I'm very sure you know this one already. I say this thing every time. If you're hungry, you have no business investing. Focus on getting cash flow. Focus on creating a system that can give you cash every single time. Investing is not for people who have not eaten. Investing is for people who have money to spare for a very long time. Because on average, a good investment will probably make you 20% in a year. In fact, the best investment firm, like I had, makes around like 22% in a year. So if you're going to invest the $1,000 that you have and you're only going to make 22%, that's like how much? $200 you're going to make from that investment. $200 is not even enough for you to feed. Talking of, of a return of investment of like of that amount. So think about it in this particular standpoint, right? Invest in things that can help you long term. Invest in books, invest in courses, invest in skills, invest in things that can help you get cash flow every single month. That's the kind of things you want to invest in. And it is not, like I said, you're not keeping money so that it gives you a particular percentage. No, you're investing in starting a new business. You're investing in getting new camera gear. All those things are investments that can serve you for a long time. Don't invest your money if you are hungry. It is not for you. Now, number seven is failure to adapt to change. Most people lose money because they're not very okay with change. Things change every single time. And if you decide that you want to stay in the old way, you want to keep on doing things the way things were done before. People are going to leave you behind. People are not going to patronize your business anymore. So you need to keep on steadily changing, right? If what is working now is a specific kind of format of selling, for instance, and you keep on doing the old format, nobody is going to look towards your side anymore. So failure to adapt is one of the reasons why so many people end up losing a lot of money. They end up and money that you lost. It's not necessarily money that you have because you can be literally losing money right now potentially what i simply mean is that that opportunity that you did not take is you losing money already so you don't necessarily have to have money to lose it you can lose money by leaving money on the table you can lose money by not optimizing what you're doing to the highest capacity probably what you're doing now can make you a million but if you're operating on a level of 200k you're always you're already losing 800k and the worst part is when you're losing money and you don't even have any idea that you're losing money that's the most difficult position for you to be in now number eight is overconfidence and greed i don't have to explain this too much you go you go ahead and you invest your money it's giving you a particular amount of return every single month take profit you're gonna say no you're not gonna take profit no that's bad you need to take profit from your business every single time. It's very important. I'm not the kind of person that will come and preach to you that, okay, invest everything, reinvest all the money you have back into your business. No, that's totally wrong, right? You have to take some part of your profit, then reinvest a percentage back into the business. That's how to sensibly work on a business model. You don't really have to stay there because you're so confident that the business is giving you so much money. You now go ahead and reinvest back into the business every single thing. What happens when the business crashes? That's the thing I tell you guys about entrepreneurship, right? Entrepreneurship is not something that is 100% guaranteed. Anything can happen. It's almost like a big Ponzi scheme, but I wouldn't want to classify it as that. But anything can literally happen. Look at COVID, for instance. Imagine the guys who are making money before COVID. If, if they didn't keep any profit for themselves and their business just disappeared, what would have been of them today? So always take profit from your business. Don't be too confident. You know, be confident in your business, but don't be overconfident in any business. Businesses are meant for you to make profit and exit. In fact, the moment you start a business, you're supposed to be thinking of your exit strategy. How exactly am I leaving this business? How exactly can I get to a point where this business makes money without me necessarily being there? How exactly can I get to a point whereby I sell off this company and just have a percentage in the company that pays me every single month, you know, from time to time? That's exactly how to do business. If nobody ever told you, now I'm telling you. And number nine is overestimating your earning potential. So people who love get rich quick scheme are the guys who normally fall for this because when they think something can give them a large earning, they now go all out in that particular kind of business. I don't know which examples to give you. Probably maybe you can help me in the comments, but most times whenever people see a business that looks like they can, it's usually like a turnover kind of business where They'll tell you probably maybe you need to invest 100k to get a million back and stuff like that so most times people don't think anymore they now get on that emotional state and they invest every single thing they have into that particular business they go all out and because of the overpriced any potential they now end up 
losing all their money altogether. So that's one particular part you should be very, very conscious of whenever you want to make a lot of money for yourself and so that you don't lose your money. Now, number 10 is obviously listening to the wrong advice. Now, some of the advice I give you here, some of the advice might not be applicable to you at this moment. In as much as I know that I'm giving you very good advice, a good advice can be wrong for you in a particular moment. There was a time when I started business and I was still hustling then, I was not running any proper business and I started to read about taxes. And I started to get worried about taxes. Taxes are something that you have to like put in place. But with the laws in my country, you can run your business for about one year plus. As long as you're not in profit, right, you don't have to pay tax. So after I read that book, I was like, I was so worried about tax. I was thinking and calculating. That was wrong advice for me at that particular moment. And I'm not even talking, now I'm not even talking about advice that are utterly wrong. I'm talking about good advice that is wrong for you at a particular time. So if you're always having wrong advice, you then you end up losing your money. Imagine I went out and started paying taxes on my losses. That's another thing you have to like think about when you want to take advice from people. And don't take advice from people who have not gone where you want to go. Don't take advice from people based on media. You know, most people like to take advice because they see what's happening in the media and they just want to do whatever is going on. No, that's that's wrong. Okay. Take advice from experts, take advice from people who are where you want to be. Take advice from people who have gotten to where you want to go and I'm telling you 100% you're going to like have a really smooth ride when it comes to business. So just as usual, um, if you have any questions you want to ask, drop in the comment section. If you have anything you want to add to this particular video, also drop in the comment section. And um, remember to like and subscribe. Share the video with whoever you feel will benefit from it and I look forward to seeing you in the next video.